I got to say is welcome to Spotlight Over the City. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the beautiful, lovely Terry T Bomb Long. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And guess what? I went right to the food sponsor, not your average damn pizza. You hear me? Listen. Not your average pizza, not your average pizza. Man, this pizza is so cranking. This pizza is so damn bussing. good. It's all of that. Torch is all what you say. Yeah, all the young, whatever y'all be saying let is that. Let me tell y'all something. We don't, Stan yeah. don't usually let me eat on set. But I, hey, I got a whole entourage but of food today, up here. But I had to say that before I got started because I just tasted a pizza that I had never had. So shout out to everybody at the sound of my voice, the whole DMV, man, Southside, Uptown, uh, uh, Law. Uh, Palmer Park, C. Pleasant. Everybody rocking with Spotlight over the city from the DMV all over the VA. We know you across the water. We over there. And guess what? We love you guys. Thank you for rocking. You are our home base, and we appreciate you much for the launch. But guess what? We done shot all through Atlanta, Philly, Chicago, Detroit. Tanzania. Um, who? Tans- what is it? Tanzania. Did you say Tanzania, though? <laughs> and you was trying to say Tanzania? I fixed it. Damn. Okay, but well, we over there. I fixed we it. We in, in Tanzania and Tanzania. Damn right. right. We everywhere. And Ghana over and everywhere. all over in eight different, nine different countries. And I thank God for all of our viewers. Thank you much. Spread the love, spread the word. Let them know to let them know to share the show. All right? Yes, share the show. Showtime. Show Y'all time. ready for a show out there? Let ooh, me see. Ooh. Oh, let, let me test them. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I said, are y'all ready for a show out there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Now yes. they ready. They ready I for love a it. show. Well, I, she, love let's it. Give I love them it. I love it. Let's give them a show. Let's give them a show. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Spotlight over the city. I want to say thank you because right before I got here to the show, I went and checked something, and we just hit 190,000 YouTube subscribers. Hey. Today. Today, it tipped it. over to 190,000, and that means it's 10,000 away from 200,000, okay? Well, we started thank with 1,800, so that's a big yeah, deal Yes, so, so I just wanted to say thank you all so very much for thank you all rocking with time. us. And so those viewers uh, rock with us, subscribe with us, whatever you want to say, but we average an 8 to 10 million views a month on our YouTube channel. That's true. So that's pretty big. He ain't um, lying. That's humongous. Y'all can clap too, though. Y'all, he ain't y'all, lying. Y'all, y'all can y'all can put your hands together. I know that damn piece of good, but still, y'all can put one of them down. Like yeah, not and your so, average um, piece. Not your average piece in the building. I keep going back to that. I keep going back to that. Um, so I what what what? Yes, um, I keep going back to that because not your average piece. They're in the spotlight tonight, but they also they did a combo thing today. They said, you know what, we're going to sponsor the food and we're going to tell y'all a little bit about our journey and so later on we're going to get to meet the owners of not your average pizza but until then just trust and believe what we telling y'all about this damn pizza fire go get some and if you're not in the dmv when you're visiting the dmv and you need some pizza that's what you need to go do yeah you don't want your average average pizza you want not your average pizza you dig yeah. And so we we appreciate black owned business. We yeah. always appreciate that first average. and foremost. But we don't bring average. We always bring up an echelon. So even in the pizza game, 
I'm talking about jerk pizza, the seafood, seafood pizza. pizza. That's it's the called one the I'm stuck on. Four ninety five something belt weight crash or something, some shit. What? Wait, it's, sorry, wait. This it is, is something can you like read, that. Or can you say what it say? It's four ninety five belt weight crash or something. Shit? He gonna tell us the when he get up. Four ninety five crash. It's something. What? It crashed into my stomach. What? That's what I know. <laughs> All right. That part. Okay. Well, hell, I agree. Okay. I agree. All right. So coming up. In the spotlight tonight, not only do we have Not Your Average Pizza in the building, we have the owners, Brandon Dow and Brandy Walston are here hey, tonight, guys. Give it up, give it up. Yes, indeed. In addition to them, though. What else? We've got this amazing young lady who is doing some great things as an entrepreneur. Um, one, of, one, one of the things that she's been doing for a while is called Abundant Dance and Artistry. But the thing that I'm kind of interested in, is called Hump Day Cabaret. So we're going to welcome to the show later. Not Hump Day. Yes, Hump Day Cabaret. Is that we're every day? Welcome to the show, Athena Power. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hump yes, day. Okay. Hump Day. Yes. I was I was praying for yesterday. I said, y'all, can somebody call Stan and tell him it's Hump Day? I don't think they called you, though, babe. It was? I, no. It was yesterday? It was yesterday. Oh. You missed it. So just only one Hump Day? <laughs> it's one okay. Hump Day a week. Let's start okay. there. We need to re- reinvent that, though. It should be like three <laughs> days at minimum Hump Day, yeah. Um, Listen, this young lady has been to the show. She's a family member to us at this point. And I told Stan, I said, listen, we have a real singer in the building today, so you better get your sh- to get yourself together. You don't have to do that. Because you know, I, I, I like, gotta bring on my brand, like I'm well, the one. No, that, I was like I'm the weakest link, or like I'm bringing us low. <laughs> like why you gotta act like I'm the one? Why you don't get yourself together? I, I, I want you to do this. I'm gonna get uh, myself together too. I want you to sing something that more modern than Eartha Kit. Or, why do you care? Like, I need you to bring it up. Bring You're it up. such a hater, and that's bring not attractive. Sing somebody we know. Just even if they did, they even my if they did, every week. still <clears throat> sing the person we know. Okay, help, okay, help they us. gonna know who they gonna know who it is. So you all, we're gonna welcome back to the show later. We have the closer in the building today, Miss Pam. Whoa! Hey, give it up, give it up. The songstress herself ooh, ooh. with her singing ass self, you man. Ain't this lying. lady, right, man? What? I said I would never want to sing after Pam. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing after a lot of people, but I ain't singing after Pam. You sing okay. after me? That's a threat. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I bring heat. <laughs> That's heat. funny. Shout out to our favorite DJ, DJ Uncle Fresh is in the building. Because hey. <laughs> if it ain't fresh, we what? don't even want we it. We don't even want it. No, we don't. Um, we want some of that allure over here. Yes. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about that too. Um, also, this young lady has become our resident bartender. She, I'm, that's what I said. She's our res- even though we let her take off every other week or so. I don't know where she be going. Like she got shit to do it. Every right. Other week. But, <laughs> I'm like, where does she, <laughs> hell she, she be? Where the hell she be where, taking off and going? Right. Where she? Why she can't be here? Right. We, every we, week. We're gonna work that out. But we for right now, we take her when we can get her. And y'all, welcome back to the show, our favorite mobile bartender. Cheers to you. Hey, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Make sure you guys support and follow and tip the bartender. That's and tip, the DJ. Get your tip money out and tip that bartender. We have some signature drinks. If you don't get the signature drinks, then you got to pay for your drink, whatever she tell you. And guess what? It's worth it. She, I don't know what. I don't know. As a matter what is of fact, this again? mine's gone. What's mine? What's this okay. right here? Hennessy Margarita. A and spotlight a spotlight punch. punch. There's so a spotlight punch over there, y'all. A spotlight the, punch. Drink responsibly. And a Henny sure Margarita. Jank, drunk, yes, but tip her. Yeah, okay. tip her. Tip her. Right. right let's go. Uh, shout out to our UBM team. Um, UBM, uh, you broadcast media. Shout out to you all. Thank you very much for all that you do. And today's show is brought to you by Oxley Realty Services, who provides investment opportunities in both residential and commercial spaces. You all can learn more about Oxley Realty Services, one of Spotlight's um, biggest, most reliable sponsors, OxleyRealtyServices.com. O-X-L-E-Y is how you spell Oxley. OxleyRealtyServices.com. Phones on silent or vibrato. Also, one of our, not one of our, our longest running sponsor um, from the from day one. This We call this our day one sponsor. Day Umbrella, one. Umbrella Therapeutic Services, D.C.'s most trusted and reliable behavioral health organization. And they provide medication management, mental health therapy for D.C. residents. You can find out more about Umbrella Therapeutic Services online at www.umbrellacares.com. CGE Entertainment. They provide some of the most exclusive grown and sexy events throughout the DMV. You can find out more about CGE Entertainment online. Big Cliff. 
also they are um heavy, heavy on Eventbrite, heavy. Facebook. Just I think they are Eventbrite. Just search C G E and you'll see all of their events coming up. We'll talk about a few of their events coming up a little later in the show. Yeah, we need a whole show for C G E. I know, they got right? like 116 a whole parties show. coming up. Cliff always got something going on. Every week. Um Vita Lux Look. Vita Lux Look is another one of our favorite spotlight pon- sponsors. Jennifer Gwen is the CEO. She provides infused cooking oils that help put you on the right path to living a positive, healthy, holistic lifestyle. I always use her cooking oils. I use the rosemary parsley one. That's my favorite. And I use it for shrimp, fish, chicken, lamb chops, um, almost anything, honestly. But she didn't tell us what is infused with. No, I mean, well, it's 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 org- it's holistic, healthy stuff like rosemary, parsley, adobe, lime, basil, chive. So she has different flavors, oh. and it's a cooking oil that's you know a healthier alternative to like your vegetable oils. So you cool. can um, get a ten percent off. Spotlight is the promo code S P O T L I G H T. Spotlight. Go to www.vitaluxlook.com and um, please support her. Yes, indeed. Support black business in general. I know um, a lot of times we don't get the support we need, but we really appreciate it because it's tough being a black business owner. She knows. She just walked in the business, the body bag herself. Um, It's really hard, you know, being a black business owner, especially um, when we don't get the support in our own community. You want to keep your dollars circulating in your own community. So I believe in that wholeheartedly. Support whoever you know. I go to Chick-fil-A's black owned set out Keith. I go to anybody who owns something black. I try to do that. And it's not a slight to nobody else. It's just a big up to us. That's all. That's all. Um, shout out to Samurai Hibachi. Speaking of Speaking black of owned, black owned let me hibachi. Back up. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of black owned, I have a question, a real quick question. How many of black you all pizza. Have somebody that's black that you know that's your friend that owns a hibachi sushi bar. They black though. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Okay, well we do. Mm-hmm. Shout out. He to can Samurai. be our friend today. Yeah. We're gonna let y'all borrow him. <laughs> Shout out to Samurai Hibachi and Sushi Bar. It's black owned, owned by Arcel Mitchell. It's located on Duke Street in Alexandria. They have a full bar, amazing fresh hibachi food cooked right out in front of you private events, certain nights. They have a DJ and entertainment. Stan and I have been there a few times. Tasty cake will be in there. Uh, uh, yes, I'll be having my uh, tasty cake. My homemade pound cakes will be available um, starting soon in April, right after Easter. There, You can go to Samara Hibachi and pick up some of my pound mm-hmm. cake. Leave so, my tip right here. Leave yeah, my, and, and make sure when y'all go, you tell them about Spotlight Over City so y'all can get the family treatment, okay? Y'all use us when you go there and say, Everywhere you go, Spotlight say, Over say the Spotlight City Center. Spotlight Over the City Center. They're they, going to do something. They're going to make sure something they do happen. something, okay? Make sure. Um, last but not least, Shooter Sportswear and Apparel. They provide high quality um, apparel and it combines comfort, functionality, and contemporary design. As shooters, they inspire individuals to never stop shooting for their goals. Never. Find out more online, www.shootersports.com. My husband is uh, sporting his shooters outfit. I just right so now happen to today. be brand ambassador for Shooter. Yes, Shout he's out the Shooter. Brand Rob. Ambassador, so thank Shout you out to so Home and Shooter. Rob. Let me just say 27 years in business, black owned. You, so it's hard to do anything 27 years. Work out, go to work, raise your kids. It's as hard. 27 years, damn, that take consistency. Yeah. So to get somebody to support your business for 27 years, which the city has, and to have a good quality of brand, which he has, and to have a good name to stand on, which he has. Hey, that's, a, that's a big deal, right? Sports wear. Make sure you go up there and get your athletic wear. A whole bunch of good apparel. Just got some fresh sweatsuits. Just one of them. Get you one. Get you one, y'all. All right. Well, we got a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with tell y'all what's happening around the DMV, Spotlight Shining Star, and name that song. We'll be right back. Y'all ready for it? I started. Okay. Y'all still woke morning. out there? All right. Let's go. We'll be right back. Spotlight and y'all eat some city. pizza. Hey, eat the pizza. Let's not come up here. Pizza. Eat it over there. Hey. 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 Box and I just refused to take them, and I was already. What's happening? Family, three times Y'all get some pizza, get some. some research and doing some deep diving into cooking herbs and spices, and I started playing around with different flavors, different flowers, different plants, and giving them. My, I made bottles for my family for Christmas one year, and they were like, "Girl, what are you doing? This is really good. You need to take this serious, and you need to brand your product." And I'm like, "Really?" So it kind of like wasn't planned. It kind of fell in my lap. Uh, so. I just love to cook and see people's reactions. So. What is the meaning behind the name of your brand? The name Vita is life. 
lux look means you can live your life to the fullest but into a, in a luxury mindset you know you could be at any level in your life but you can still have good products and have a luxurious mindset Vita Lux look is not just cooking oils. I plan to have like an umbrella of different products. It's a lifestyle. So that's why I chose the names Vita Lux look because I want it to be a staple and like a household name. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. Man, y'all enjoying that pizza? Yeah. Hey, man, that pizza is good. That, that pizza, pizza I swear is it is, good. man. Not your average pizza. Not your average pizza. Not your it average. It is not average. Pizza, man. It is above average, actually. All right, let's do it. This seafood pizza right here. Um, right. What's happening? Um, I need you to I tell them about what was this happening. allure what and pizza. this book. All right, well, I can definitely snap out of my coma real quick for my pizza for this. All right, so allure. I'm super blessed. So this is my alcohol. This is my own personal brand. It's a blend of cognac and a fine blend of uh, mango and a few other ingredients since that's so amazing that it's like, whew. It's so I'll good. let you guys taste it tonight and you guys tell me what you think. But this is my new brand. I'll be doing a taste testing soon Aww. and I'll be informing you guys. I'm and so, so proud. Yeah. You're going to love it. I'm going to let I you taste it. I'm going to bust song. a bottle open. And so I also have some fifths available. We'll talk about that later. But. Am I, not, am I talking about this as well? All right. And so this is also my story. Yes. This is a, a gangster's cry. Um, I'm blessed to be able to be alive to tell my testimony. And um, this is the first time I testified, you know, and I put this on paper so I can make me a few dollars and tell my story to change other people's mind. And so God blessed me to get to the other side. And this is what this is about. So Barnes & Noble, Amazon, um, wherever. But you can also pull up on me. I'll keep them on that. All right. Pull Against up. Cry. But guess what? What? We're going to be turning this into a film. It's called So Far Removed. Um, it's a movie. It's going to be a big, 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 big film. What um, about the other one? But Can we talk about it? Oh, yeah. So Stoners. <laughs> I'll be shooting my first big film called Stoners. It's, it's uh, yeah. Hey, I got some cast hey, members in the building, hey, too. Hey, so, yeah, hey. I got my baby. Here. So Snap we got. Snap your fingers. Yeah. No, snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, so um, it's a big movie called Stoners, and um, it's going to be a dramedy. It's not a comedy. It's a dramedy because it really has a plot to it, and it's hilarious, but it's also something that'll make you be like, whoa. And so um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, April 22nd, we'll be starting the film. So, so look proud. out for Stoners. It'll be on your big platform. I should sing that soon. song. I'm so proud to be. I'm working, right? Yeah. Oh, I see you guys. Like, well, okay, uh -huh. I like that. I might sing that tonight. All right, we'll do it then. Keep that Don't in mind. Don't threaten me with a good time. Do it. Okay, I might. All, all right. right. Um, so in addition to all of these amazing things that my husband has got going on, y'all, I just want to say, when you see a black man doing things like this, it's a big effing deal, right? And I just wanted to say that, baby. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you much. I, I am proud of you, that. okay? Yeah, and I'm that's good. how he met me. Like, I was just like, I was on Facebook, and I saw that he had stalking. done a book. He was talking. No, I saw he had done his book, and I was like, you know what? A black man who published his own book and wrote his own story and put it out himself, let me see him. Let me see who this is. And that's, that's, just it. that's what happened. Yeah. Just so, like that. Yes, I was mm. very proud to see you doing something <laughs> like that, and I went and slid in his DMs, and now look. <laughs> Look at us now. It, it worked, ladies. Shoot your shot. I shot my shot. Shoot your shot, ladies. Don't be scared. So wait, you finally admitted that you shot your shot because you you hit me with the oh well we had a bunch of mutual friends and we I was did. just trying to see if it, I. So now you truth. shot your shot. All Listen, right. So you was fake stalking. Just let me know. Okay. Balling. You did. You All know right. what. What's happening? Uh, I don't know what's going on with all oh, of this Lord, stuff. Oh, Lord, man. That's what's happening. Um, listen, um, the sixth annual DC Music Summit Conference is coming up, y'all, this weekend, Friday and Saturday. And our host, Stan Long, our host and CEO, the boss right here, he's one of the panelists on the Legendary-ish panel. He's also going to be hosting one of the live performance shows, and it all goes down this Friday and Saturday at Anacostia High School. Oh, wait, am I performing live? Or am no. I uh, why would you be performing live? So what, would you, what would you perform? Are you serious? Yes. You mean which one would I perform? Um, well, I, I almost busted. I, almost, I was about to crank right out. Boy. So, Please support 
um, you just keep throwing me off with okay, your shenanigans. Why would they want you to perform and do what? Because sometimes people hire me to sing, and so I thought maybe that they is a me lie. To sing at the thing. That's no, they, he's going to be on the panel. He is legendary, so they did pick you to be talk your legendary talk. You do some not things good for my very, brand. very well, you're not good for a brand. and so you're going to go you on the panel brand and you're going to talk about how legendary person. you are. Okay, you're but you're not, not going to perform anything, babe. So that's y'all. This is Friday and Saturday at Anacostia High School. Please support. If you can, um, the DC Music Summit is very, very um, important and it's it really near is. and dear to our hearts because one of our Spotlight family members, Dior Ashley Brown, Uptown Dab, she's the founder of this, and so we want to continue to support this so that it can become bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Yes, that's right? very important. So shout out to you, babe, for being selected to be on one of the panels. Hey, that's pretty dope. That's shout pretty out dope. to them for uh, uh, selecting me to be on the panel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, on Sunday, March the twenty fourth. You're going to be doing something else, babe. I'm doing something. Uh-huh. Dr. Tia now? Corbin Myers presents... Come Tia. Party. Yeah, she's doing Come Party with the Purpose. It's hosted by Easy Street of 96.3 WHUR. Um, join us in support of our veterans and returning citizens in the DMV. This event will be held at Air Restaurant and Lounge in Northwest D.C. from 7 to 10 p.m., and that's on this Sunday. Stan is going to be speaking. He's got about a... 35, 40 minute. You got to talk for like a long time, babe. I'm going to be talking. Yeah. So you got, yeah, he's going to be speaking at this event as well. He's going to okay. be donating some of his books too. So if I'm you can. donating books? Yeah. Babe, yes. Okay. Well, I'm donating books, he said. Yes. Yes. And so please pull up on him on Sunday and get one of those donated books. Just yes, support the returning books. citizens and Re the veterans. Always support returning citizens. Some of the most brilliant minds have come from behind the wall. I promise you this. Um, some of my best friends are some of the smartest cats have fallen into a, being a victim of uh, unfortunate circumstances. It doesn't diminish your brain and who you are and what God made you to be. So a lot of these guys are coming home, and I support what they do. Uh, shout out Eric Weaver over there doing some big things over there. Smooth. Shout out Big Smooth over there on Southside, returning citizen. Everybody involved with that movement. We appreciate you because yes, um, when you come home, you sometimes come home to nothing. And um, sometimes those programs is all a guy got. So That's right. Shout out to those dudes. Shout out to them. CGE and J&J &J Entertainment presents Unplugged R&B next Wednesday, y'all, at Felt Lounge. This is Wednesday, March the 27th. You know, Felt Lounge is located inside of the MGM Grand. Yeah, it's sexy, MGM too. Uh, Casino Hotel is sexy. They will have the... Uh, the Weather permitting, they'll have the outdoor terrace open as well, the roof terrace. It's really nice. Um, and it's going to be Secret Society. They got $20 tables. They've also got some reserved. They got $20 tables? I mean, not tables. $20 tickets. Oh, okay, say so wait now. $20 tickets. Sorry about that, Cliff. $20 tickets. Mess them up. Yes. Yeah, so make sure you get on the list. And they also have some VIP tables. So get in touch with Cliff the General, CGE, or Jamie Tyler of J&J &J Entertainment and get on the list for Wednesday night. Come hang out with us. We're going to be there. Shout out, Jamie. Okay? That's good. What's All up, right? Big Cliff? And um, what else? What else we got going on? Oh, on Everything. Saturday. Everything. Back up. On Saturday, this Saturday, March the 23rd, Cocktails by Chrissy, another one of our Spotlight family members, presents the Spring Pop-Up Sip Shopping Network event from 1 to 5 p.m. They're going to have food, cocktails, vending. Um, it's going to be at the Gallery Event Studio in Hyattsville, Maryland. I love a good pop-up where you can sip champagne and walk around and shop at different vendor tables. I really love it. So shout out to you, Cocktails by Chrissy. Um, Vita Lux Look will be there vending. So if you all want to go get some of that oil we were telling you about, yeah, she'll still give you your 10% discount. Just say Spotlight, and she'll That's do it. That's all you got to do? Yep, say it. Yeah. Deborah C. <laughs> Offer Bulgin, 10th Annual Women of Virtue Walking in Excellence Awards. And Scholarship Celebration takes place Saturday, March 30th, 12 to 4 p.m. at Bowie State University. I'm going to be hosting the red carpet, and I'm also one of the award recipients. So, um, Marissa That's Mitchell. Yeah, thank you, baby. Marissa Congrats. Mitchell is the MC, and we're going to be featuring... Comedian Tanya Lewis, and we got a keynote speaker, Bishop Donald A. Wright. Uh, let's That's see. Dope. That's dope. We got a Bishop lot. Wright, too, as well. That's I know. We've got so much stuff going on, y'all. Hey, the kid. Yeah, shout out to all of you all. <laughs> What's happening? A lot of stuff is happening. I'm out of breath. So, why don't you it's tell lot, about right? your Spotlight Shining oh, Star man. so I can get my this song? This one of my favorite segments. So, Spotlight Shining Star, you guys, is the segment where we spotlight someone doing something amazing. Uh, in the community, for the community, by the community, whatever it is, right? Rich, poor, don't matter. 
And so today, congratulations to this some local. So I really like this right here. They, this they deserve, deserve, deserve. This is a team thing, right? It's not a one person thing. Congratulations to the Largo Lions bo- boys basketball team for uh, winning the Maryland State Championship. Yeah, give it up, 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 give it up. The star player of the team is the son of the team's coach. So they both won a championship together. I think this is amazing. It's a team effort. Shout out to the whole team. Um, even if you just got in for two seconds and just ran into somebody, you I, I promise you <laughs> what happened was it was a team, team effort. You took a foul. You did something. And so what you did was help them get to a championship, and that's a beautiful thing. So Largo Lions, you are today's spotlight shining star. Shining star. And you a shining star, no matter who you are. Okay, let's name that song. You ready? It's not, oh, man. Tell them what? about what's name that song, babe. This way she falls to the wayside. Uh, you know, normally, hopefully, shit. Pick Doesn't it up that again. sound like hate, though? If somebody just come out the gate and say, "See, look," they saying yes. Well, no, baby, I'm just they saying that say, sounds like I'm, hate. So sometimes you have to boost people up, and that's what I'm. That's here how for. you do it. Well, I'm trying. No, and you gotta so, do it positively with, and say, "Bae, I know you a good singer. You do that shit. Do it." Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Terry is really a great singer. <laughs> Not no joke. I just be talking trash and messing with her because that's what I be doing. So, but she really can sing. I'm not even lying. She can sing. Um, just back up. You want to go first? No, always <laughs> ladies first. So this segment is a song, a segment where you name the artist and the uh, name of the song, not just the artist, but the name of the song and the artist. And you got a book coming because <clears> I ain't got nothing else. Hey, Dirk. Oh, so Lord. Dirk from Vibe Band is here. <laughs> roll, roll. <laughs> so, roll, roll. So. You can bear witness. Didn't you ask me to sing with Vibe before? Dirt. You don't, don't got to answer right now. Shit. I'm just saying. So that's the homie. Shout out Dirt. He's lying. Vibe band in the building. I'm just saying. He came to me secretly. I ain't want to put it out there and ask me. He but, came to you in secret? Yes. But I'm going to show you what I got tonight, Dirt. Damn it. You here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Let me wet my whistle real quick. Now, y'all, if you know the song, wait until we until our Instagram people, we, our Instagram followers get the guest first. Okay. And I had to wet my whistle. Wet my whistle. <clears throat> okay, get the phlegm out my. It's <clears throat> a whistle wet. Yeah, my whistle is wet. I like that. But you wet your whistle. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. Let me Keep get your it whistle in my wet. Mind. Always do that. If I could write your name out. Forever in the Hall of Fame, it would be history, no mystery, not at all in vain. Okay. I quote a poet on a verse that I read when I was small and write your name out across the sky and let us 10 feet tall. I'm not going to do the rest because y'all going to know. Y'all know. All right, give it up a T-Ball. Hey, hey okay. Dirk, did you hear that? Okay. What'd you hear? All right. Okay, um, Matt. Wait a minute. Somebody guessed it already. They said, well, wait. T- they said Tina Maria. Did they see both, though? Song and- They said Tina Maria. Tina Maria? What the That's hell? That's what they said. You're gonna mess the lady name up. Don't play with it, dead. <laughs> they said to t- Tina Maria. So y'all, you're on the right track. You gotta give it to them though. They, you're they, on they, the right track. Did they name the name of it? What's the name of the song though? Does anybody know the name of the song? Yes. Let me see. Rhonda. What's the name of it? Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for Rhonda. Rhonda said, dear lover. Okay, Rhonda so. Rhonda said, as a matter of fact, I do. Dear lover. And she's correct. That means I sound just like Tina Marie. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on, what you got? Remember when I used to. <laughs> love them and leave them. Oh, shit, yeah. That's what I used to do. Use and abuse them. Yes. Then I laid eyes on you. It was pain before pleasure. Ooh. That was my claim to fame with every measure. Oh, shit. Tasted teardrop stains, yeah. Yes, pretend like this money. I Woo! was cold as Woo! ice. Long ah! ago. Baby, okay. for 
baby. Wait, I was wait, a very, wait. very, very nice wait. and old. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay, y'all give it up for the voice to make the old ladies moist, <laughs> y'all. Woo! You fucked that up, though, bad. Shit, give don't play with don't play with me when give I be five. doing what I'm trying to yeah, do. Dirt can't All do right. that. Dirt, shit. dirt, dirt, dirt. Couldn't Did even you do say that? something to me? I said, let me get with vibe. Now I'm gonna ask you one. That's the last damn time. Now. Dead. What? Thank you, Dirk. Dirk, you a hater and a All liar. Right. So tell me what I sung and what's the name of the artist and the name of the song. They got IG, it what it do? They said Fire and Desire, Rick James and Tina Marie. There it is. That's the first time somebody guessed your song right off the break. You did good. Give me five. All right, we're well, cool. Need a voice to make All them right. ladies Y'all voice give it up for me, too. Y'all ain't got this chip for Terry. Y'all, y'all stop it. And so... You did good. Yeah. All right, we be right back, y'all. We got some You news. got wet when a I little... did that, didn't you? Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Spotlight over the city. <laughs> I started Beauty Lux Look back in 2015 due to a diagnosis by my doctor saying that I had depression, anxiety, and I was prescribed a lot of medication. I mean, I had like a Monday through Saturday medication box and I just refused to take them. And I was already cooking for my family three times a day. So I started doing some research and doing some deep diving into cooking herbs and spices. And I started playing around with different flavors, different flowers, different plants, and giving them my, I made bottles for my family for Christmas. One year and they were like, girl, what are you doing? This is really good. You need to take this serious and you need to brand your product. And I'm like, really? So it kind of like wasn't planned. It kind of fell in my lap. Uh, so I just love to cook and see people's reactions. So. What is the meaning behind the name of your brand? The name Vita is life. Lux look means you can live your life to the fullest, but into a, in a luxury mindset. You know, you could be at any level in your life, but you can still have good products and have a luxurious mindset. Vita Lux look is not just cooking oils. I plan to have like an umbrella of different products. It's a lifestyle. So that's why I chose the name Vita Lux look because I want it to be a staple and like a household name. <laughs> Woo! Welcome back to Spotlight over the city, man. Yes, and uh, between this damn Allure and this pizza, that not your average, not your pizza, average pizza, though. Pizza my whole they mind stand up. on business all the way. Okay, they stand on right? business. So with just this make sure y'all lock in with uh, not your average. What I say? I done messed up. What is? What is? I said <laughs> don't you night. say it no more than that. Okay, well, you tell it's me. It's not your is. average pizza DMV. Not your average pizza DMV because they not average. If you're not from around here, you might want to ask them to fly you some damn pizza over there. I'm not even lying. Tell them this. It's going to be cold. Up. Oh, yeah, we we'll Everybody be cold. got stoves. They got them That's damn uh, air fryers. People got stuff, Terry. This new whole day. That's true. Okay. Hey. Well, just get you something. Make sure you are following them. Not your average piece of DMV. Make sure y'all following them. Make sure you're also following Cheers, the number two, Y-O-U underscore on Instagram. Cheers to you underscore. Cheers, the yeah, number two, Y-O-U. Get your drink over there. Get you a drink. Tip the bartender. And yes. Um, she trying to hold on to her allure. She got some allure over there too, y'all. She's trying to keep it in the cut like she don't want nobody to know. Y'all can taste some of that too, mm, right? Go over there and tell her it's $3 <laughs> a bottle or something. $3 a, a shot or something, she said. Um, hmm. Both of our news stories today are not good news stories. but um, We, we just, don't have no good news? The good news is that you did sing the shit out of your song. That's the good news. That's the best you got? You did good. Okay, well, cool. Um, but this is not good news, no. Um, 27-year-old Jessica Somerville of Suitland, Maryland, was trying to pick up dinner after a long day, work day. She was on getting off her shift at the post office, and she stopped over there at the subway on the 5800 block of Silver Hill Road. Um, two young men, or not two, I don't know how many, but two young men are suspects, but there was some fighting and scuffling amongst these youngins. And then with the a lady? No, not with her. She's just there picking oh. up her food. She didn't have anything to do with it, but okay. it was some fighting and scuffling among the young men that were there, and they started popping off, and she got shot and killed. She was just picking up her food. She was just trying to mind mm -hmm. her business. Mm -hmm. And um, 
a lot of the uh, media outlets in the DMV area have been um, talking about this real, real heavy all week um, because, one, the two suspects, they, they in somebody's house right now. They're taking a shower somewhere, and somebody is housing them up. And so the, the, everybody's trying to pull together to say, listen, this girl, was she got a seven-year-old child. She was working hard at the post office, getting off work, going to get something to eat to go home. And now... This and so uh, let me just, so I was just so I was at the bank earlier today and I told the young lady get home safe. The reason I say this is because the biggest damn job we got right now is to get home safe. When did we get here though? Like when did we get to a point where we just pray to God that we just could make it home safe? And we just get home. Like why we have to live in this type of society? Like it's like a trick bag or something like. And so it's like the parents are scared of their children. Right, they they bring pistols in your house, and they they act like like that's their damn house, and you won't put their black ass out the house or none of that, and you ain't whooping ass or none of like what's what happened to the days where we used to parent our kids and really tell them right from wrong and don't be feeling no way about how the hell they think and all that. They tell us what they want for dinner, what they ain't gonna eat. What the hell happened to us? I'm just curious, because this shouldn't transfer it over to some whole killer music, killer, like we're a killer society. Nobody else in our world promote killer music but us. They don't even advertise that to the white community, the Asian community, or none of that. They dragged two Asians down the street, and they had a crime bill. They've been whooping our ass for 200 years, and we couldn't get nothing. They passed it. They took that bill to the Congress 200 times, and they denied it 200 times. What they think about you? What you think about you? I'm just very, Shit. very. I, I'm. I. I don't even know what to say. Um, one thing Man, I tell my my daughters. It. One thing I tell both of my daughters. I have a 28 year old and a soon to be 30 year old, and I say, you know, uh, don't stop nowhere. I hate to say this, but don't stop nowhere at night. At, at night, this point, don't get gas. Don't, if you don't hungry, go to ATM it don't machines. matter. Go home and just be hungry. Hey, don't that, stop. Let that be tomorrow, because you it might was not two see o'clock in the morning when this happened. And she she was stopping at. She has the overnight shift, I Mm-mm. guess, and you it was two a.m. Uh, don't be that hungry. You got to keep going. Keep going. Don't and even so the stop. sad thing about it is you can't even be able to drive through two of them. You can't do certain things. ATM, ladies especially, right? Don't do it. Do not wait till 9, 10 in the mo- at night to go get your money out the ATM. Don't go pump your gas 11 at night. Don't do you it. Go, you setting yourself up for these young boys. Don't you looking do it. like a target out here. Don't set yourself don't up. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's um, sad to have to say that, but you're supposed to be able to do this, but don't. Yeah. Um, the other sad story that I wanted to tell y'all about, this happened up in New York. It, it's two twin girls, 19-year-old twin girls, twin sisters. They were um, at a store in Brooklyn on Sunday, and um, they went into a, a store, and one some guy was trying to talk to one of them and making, you know, advances and stuff. And because they kind of, like, shunned them off, a fight broke out and um, stabbed both of these girls, this crazy man, Mad because they don't want to entertain your advances, and one of the girls that he said one of the twins died. The other one is still fighting for her Man. life right now. So he stabbed him, stabbed him. Yeah, he stabbed him, stabbed him. Um, one of them is fighting for her life right now, and her twin sister is died dead. So I'm gonna just say this because I wasn't there, and I'm R.I.P. and my condolences to these young ladies' family and this and that. And so it's very unfortunate, first of all. But I'm gonna say this: I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what happened. But I'm going to say this to the young ladies who fall into this category. If you find a man in the street that's trying to holler at you and you feel a way about this person, like they're old or they're ugly or they whatever you feel they are, be respectful. Be respectful. Some of these people have mental illness. Some of these people are feeling a way. Some of these people can be so offended that they will harm you because of the way you responded to them trying to talk to you. All of this right here, psh, and all that, nah, just be like, I'm good, thank you, I got a boyfriend, whatever, keep it moving. But it's a way, and I say that because everybody don't handle rejection the same way. Some people are going through some stuff that's different, and they're going to handle you a different way. Not that you earned it, but I'm just trying to tell you a way to ward off some of the buffoonery that could come your way. Always take the easiest route you can. Right, yeah. And so if you don't have to be disrespectful to that person just because you don't like how they look or you don't think that you would ever talk to them, you don't have to be making sure that they know that. You can just kindly say, 
I'm good or thank you or whatever and get on about your business because yeah. at least you'll make it home. Right. I agree with that, baby. Um, we have one quick commercial break and we'll be b- right back with question of the week. Yep, we'll be right. Y'all good? Right Y'all good? 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 Y'all that shit was lame, had to change the lane. I saw 12, they playing heat and they ain't playing games. They in the streets giving nigga heat and they banging gang. That's the same. After 15 years, this shit ain't changed. Why your niggas in the street and they tweaking out their brain? See your nigga that they went to school with, used to be cool with. Used to sit at the lunch table and eat they food with. Now he living on another block that they gon' lurk on. And they bout to spit it into something that they smoke on. My mom outside crying, asking, why would you do this? It's love for your niggas till they Judas. I pray my niggas make it out the jungle for it's too late I done seen a little bit of the world And that bitch too great I hope they learn to say If I got money I'm like you ate A nigga ain't my ops It's the system That bitch too fake Man it's hard to talk about This shit feel like a toothache Life is full of choices Gotta check the ones that you make I hope all of my niggas See your kids And your kids kids And you get the joy To see how differently Your kids live When you get out the streets uh, If y'all in the building I just need y'all hand Like this one time Cause I know we got Some youngers listening to this Hey 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 when you get out the streets, out the streets, out the streets, out the streets, I hope all of my niggas and my kids see your kids' kids and you get the joy to see how differently your kids live when you get out the streets. You should side up, take time. Thank y'all for the opportunity. If you need to get back in form, get back in form. And if you got some homies who need to understand how important it is to get out the streets, right? Don't just tell your kids, don't be in the streets like me. Nigga, if you knew what it really looked like when you get out the streets and they see you live a different life, it's a whole different ball game. I love y'all. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the Did City. Y'all having a good time out there? Yeah. Man, we got a bar. Shout out to bartender. We got food. Cheers. We got Alcohol, you. we got daggone DJs. Man, is this a club? Are y'all at the club? What's this, going on here? I well, mean, we got it all in here for you guys, man. Is our so show, they, if we say is our show the best, they're going to say yes. Right, it we, got they to write, be the they best, gonna, man. They I, 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 you ain't going to get this type of food. I mean, free though. So these people come here and lend their services. That's why I say at least give them a tip, shout them out, uh, follow them, uh, make sure you support them because this is on their dime. They come here and show you love. That's right. And this is for you guys because I swear when we get off set, we don't get no food, no liquor, no nothing. We good. And so thank you guys for supporting and this is how we give back. Thank y'all so much. Dirk, yeah, give us a shout out tonight. Yeah, Dirk, I know we ain't going to make, shout shout out to uh, Vibe Band. They headed down there to Piano Keys. If you're not down there, meet them there. Piano Keys tonight, man. It's going to be dope. And so Dirk, we ain't going to be there, but Dirk going to act like we did, right, Dirk? Dirk going to say say, shout shout out to Spotlight Spotlight over the city. city. In the building, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Question of the week is an opportunity for our viewers and listeners to submit relationship, family, all types of questions. I mean, we get all types of stuff, right? And um, really we, wild we stuff. read the questions over the air and we try to give you all some guidance. If you have a question for us, you can send us an email, info at spotlightoverthecity.com. Again, our email is info at spotlightoverthecity.com. Are you ready? I am ready. This one, oh, this one is they to you. Book. Well, so can it, they limit their, no, can you put it like to no, a thousand some people uh, just pour their whole house out, hearts out, babe. We just they gotta, poured everything right there. Well, this one is specifically to you. It's interesting when they'll, some, most times they'll say, dear Stan and T-Bomb. This is specifically Stan. Don't go nowhere, Dirk. I'm going to need your help. With they this. ain't put me in it at all. Dear all right, Stan, I have a close circle of friends who've been my friends since junior high school. One of them, the one I've known the longest since we was 12, is over complimenting my new wife and it's starting to be weird. Every chance he gets, he is talking about how fine my wife is and about how lucky I am to have someone as beautiful as my wife. We all went to Mardi Gras this past February and nobody was sober at Mardi Gras. Do you know that he told my wife that if me and him wasn't like brothers that he would take her away from me? Granted, he was drunk and so was the rest of us, but that wasn't cool. She started grinning like she liked that shit and I got mad. (laughs) <laughs> when we were all sober the, thought it was funny though When we were all sober the next morning I spoke to both of them about it Both of them said that I'm making something out of nothing So I dropped it 
Fast forward to about a week ago when my wife walked into the house, she had to walk past him to come kiss me. Do you know that he asked me what perfume is she wearing? Because I'm going to have to get some of that for my female friends. It might sound innocent, but why is he smelling my wife? Why, why is he smelling my wife? Am I overreacting, Stan? Me and him been friends for nearly all of our lives, so he's like a brother to me. But I don't think that it's cool just because you got more money than I do that you can just over compliment my wife, be smelling her, and stare her down whenever she walks in the room. I see it. The fact that my wife seems to think that it's cute, though, and that it's flattering is a whole nother email. So that'll be my next letter to y'all. <laughs> for today, One at a time. Right. He said, for today, what do you think about this? Um, a few things, actually. Um, so, wow. He addressed it to you, so I'm going to let you okay, go Okay, so the first thing I see is um, you're noticing that he's taking overly... Uh, he's been overly complimenting, complimenting wife. your wife, right? That's a problem. So, you know, before I go into the letter, you you mentioned that this was a almost brother. Yeah, since twelve. Well, damn been it, Cain killed Abel, right? They were really brothers, right? Mm -hmm. And so, relatives and, and and relationships are different than family. And so, this relationship right here is different because that's not your bro biological brother, and he's going across the line often. And when you see that happening, then you have to start believing this guy. He really wants to screw your wife, um, but he can't cross the line because he's family in real life. She also is being flattered by him because he has a position, i.e. money, and however he gets it, right? And so that's flattering to her, and you might have less because you stated that, so you feel lesser. And so it's intimidating, and it should be. And so you should have only had to say one thing to him. Um, you really shouldn't have to say anything to the homie um, about crossing the line with your folks. But if you had to, then one time should be sufficient. And if he still feels the need to carry on like a buffoon, then he really doesn't respect you, which means you should put his black ass out your house and don't invite him to come around you anymore because that's not a friend. You don't have to try to ward off your friends from your woman. <laughs> I mean, that's just not reality, all right? Um, you could get stabbed in the throat for that. <laughs> wait, um, wait, it was going good. Oh, it was going good? Yes. Okay, so let me Damn. back up. Let me, everything going good. Okay, let me just stay focused. <laughs> All right, so so that's a violation is what I was basically trying to say. And you can't just violate people if they're your friend. You should not want to. So that's not a real good friend. Um, he's an opportunist more so. So maybe you do things to help him further along and he just needs you in his life or whatever the case is. But that's not somebody that you should keep close to your, 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 where you lay your head and with your wife, um, which means he can't be your friend. But how do you sever that? I mean, you've been knowing this guy since he was 12. I said Cain killed Abel, I was saying. I know. <laughs> they I know knew each that. other 12, 11, 2, 3. And so why would he do that? Because sometimes humans are different. And so if you see a... All I know is I'm, I'm real mindful of energy and people. So when I see a thing, I believe a thing. And so if you show me your hand, I believe it. If you show me your hand right now, you got an ass of spades, you're cutting. You do, you, you're going to be cutting. And so I don't have to guess that. That's just what your hands say. Always believe what the hands say. Um, I, I His agree. hand raggedy a little bit. I agree pretty much with everything you said. You know, it's just that I all, I'm I'm just a big fan of like trying to work things out. Like, so you know, maybe you have you this. Are a big fan yes, of maybe this friend needs to be. This friend definitely needs to be put in check. But you know, you've been knowing him since twelve. You got to treat him like your brother and be like, like you can't you can't overly compliment. Don't smell her. But my brother Don't. shouldn't come in my house trying to smell up on my wife and. <laughs> And be talking about how she find this and that. Not and even like, my real brother. If, if we wasn't married, if, if we if he wasn't my brother, then I'd take you from him. That's inappropriate. Like, well, all you're saying is I really want to screw you, but and I'm I'm, I'm gonna throw this out there just in case you take the bait. You know, then we will be screwing. But I'm just gonna let you know my my real intent, and that's that's uh that's past not cool though. Like so, it is. It's disrespectful. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have that much disrespect and then say you a friend. And that's, that's what I mean. So. Yeah, it's definitely disrespectful. That's what I had meant by the. And if like I'm the wife, the first of all, if the woman shouldn't be laughing or giggling or nothing, if I'm the wife and that happens, if any, first of all, your friends, everybody, pretty much, not even just your friends, your friends, their friends, and the people that know them friends, they know pretty much you have a certain energy, and they're not going to cross that line. But if any of your friends did. 
I would check them first. And if they did it again, I would tell, tell your you. Mate. And, and so, say, yeah. this ain't cool. Get this nigga. So, but the first thing is you should come right away and tell your mate that that happened because they would allow that person to stay in their circle and it could become a danger to them. Like that person is not com- good with their circle. But not they if y'all been is. friends for a long time. I, I think dumb. if he I was drunk, care. I would check him let first. Just, let me just say this. If we knew each other um, back in Jesus time, it don't make a damn. What I'm saying is a violation is violation. See, don't ever let that, the time don't have nothing to do with the violation. Okay. Right, because what you're telling me is if we was friends that long, you shouldn't have violated me. If we was really friends that long, you shouldn't have that for me, is what I'm saying. I see. Right, and so if you still had that for me after all this time, you flawed. And so it's not that you're not my friend, your ass is flawed, but I have to believe the flaw. I can't say you're not just because I'm your friend. You okay. flawed. Like the little dude that left us down the Metro Club and we got jumped that night and we hung out all our life and then he let us get jumped. We couldn't hang out no more after that. You know who you are. And so I had to cut that ass off because you were soft and you let us get jumped. And so we was friends since kids, but I can't go nowhere with you because you're not going to stand on business. And so that just showed me that we ain't that like that. You, you go over there with them. And me, well, when I go out, I know that whoever rock with me, we rocking, though, all the okay. way. And so it's a, a thing. It. And so I wasn't like, that's not my, we, we, we ain't grew up together. We grew up together. But you was a little softer than I need you to be, so you need to go over there. You can't go. I get it. Wait, we so would you tell? So so let's fl- real quick. Would you let me know? Like if there was one of my female friends trying to suck it, would you say Terry? She trying. Trying to suck it. Yes. Would you tell yeah, me? I would say, babe, she's trying to suck it. You would. You would yeah, tell me. Yeah. And I said, you can't trust. She's gonna suck it. As soon as you been in the corner, she's gonna suck it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said she gonna okay, suck it. Okay. I was just asking. Would you let me know? If I had a friend in my circle and she was trying, you would tell me. Yeah, so so would you tell me if one of the homies came over and was trying to slick talk and, you know? I would. I absolutely would. Again, if it was someone that you that you was friends with, like, let's just say male. If it's somebody that you've been friends with forever, I would be like, what is wrong with you? You don't, don't come at me like that. You should and I would nip me. it in the bud. No, you should tell me. But you are different and I don't want, yeah. I, no, you should tell me. Because I need to, see, you can't leave me misinformed. Because, see, I need to know how to handle this cat. So you put me in a certain position when you misinform me because I'm still handling him like we were. I need to handle his ass like we are. Damn how we were. That's were. Were after you told me this goofball said what the fuck. What it, so, whew, what he Yo. said. Uh, uh, Okay, I'm, I, okay, I'm I'm gonna come back. Let right. me come back. I was gonna say, so, babe, babe, you have a history already. Ooh, in, you, I do. You have a history and a reputation about. No, no. Don't kiss my wife. Don't don't kiss my wife. My wife is married, and nobody's <laughs> ever going to ever let well, you. Well, that's not that true. Well, what I'm saying is, if you if you can't do that when I'm standing there, why you wait till him. I leave to do that? So when I'm there, if you ain't gonna hug and roll, uh, trying to roll on top of my wife, then you shouldn't do that roll when I leave. Roll on top of me. I mean, you know, bear hug you, you and lift so you off far. the ground. You know, that kind of stuff. Nope. So that shouldn't be happening, especially if you don't know the husband, then you don't really have the right to do that. That's for niggas who soft. I'm not him. So at the end of the day, you should respect my space. That's my wife. Calm the hell down. So when I'm not there, treat it like I'm there. Don't act like I just ran off because I'm going to be back. That's right. He yeah. going to be back. Right back. I know that's right. Right back. Okay, I y'all. We're going to be right back. Okay. Oh, Spotlight. Yes. Oh, we're doing a show. Yeah, we're doing oh, a show. Damn. All we're right, we'll be, be right, right back. Spotlight back over the city, baby. With our baby. first guest, we got Miss Athena, who's been waiting so patiently. Dirk, vibe band. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Peace.
Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, you guys. And guess what? We got our first plus one in the building. And yes. um, I'm excited about that, but it's always girl powers. Now, where, where the fellas be? At? I mean, you know, it is well, always it's okay. girl it's okay. power. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got so we got, once again, Black Girl Magic is, yes. is in the building, and um, she's phenomenal, of course. Of course. And um, I'm gonna let you, since this all Black of our girl Spotlight Magic, family again, members, are I'll phenomenal. step to the side yes. and pass um, you the mic. You know, we've been crossing paths for quite some time now, and um, finally got her here on Spotlight Over City, doing some amazing things as an entrepreneur. And um, I'm, I'm I'm really going to allow her to uh, tell you all about her journey and all of that. But I want to say I'm proud of you being creative and being a trailblazer for some of the things that she's doing. So she's, a, she's the CEO of Abundant Dance and Artistry. She's also the founder of Hump Day Cabaret. Y'all put your no, hands I'm together dead. and welcome to the show, <laughs> Athena Power. Hey, give it up, give it up, give it up. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Oh, beautiful. Hey, miss. Thank you welcome so to the party. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Man, you. welcome aboard. You having a good time? I am. That's what I'm yeah, talking I'm about. Thank you for being a part of Spotlight Over City's family. And let's just get right into it. You know, um, we have our paths have been crossing for quite some time. And I've known you to um, be involved in this abundant dance and artistry. Um, let's talk a little bit, you know, about just your journey into um, entrepreneurship. Where did your vision come from for abundant dance and artistry? Before we talk about what I really want to get to, you know. Hump. Okay, so before Anything we, hump, anything. Real quick, I want to talk about I, it. Um, Sierra, I need you to... Uh, Push the camera over just a little bit for me. We're not Frank. Yeah, I hate What's this Frank. Bro. So I don't want to have to go to commercial. But if you can get our wide shot together real quick. She's off camera. I need her on camera more than anybody. She she's too far over to yeah. Can you just slide it yeah, now? Now we can get now we can get to the show. Okay. Now I was All disturbed right. just a little bit. Yeah. All right. So need her um, on the set. So if you can give us uh, the short version of your journey into entrepreneurship and where did your vision come for the abundant dance and artistry? Tell us a little bit about that. So abundant dance and artistry studios comes from actually abundant fitness. Okay. So it actually uh, was a gym um, that kept getting kind of dance poured into it more than um, usual. And so the actual founder of abundant dance, I mean, I'm sorry, Abundant Fitness, uh, Christian Wilson. Shout out, Shout to, out to Christian. Shout out okay. to Christian. Shout out to Christian. Um, said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a dance studio? And he was actually my trainer at the time. And I was like, yeah, it would be cool, but I don't want to do it. And so, <laughs> to be honest. And so, um, you know, talking over a, a long time frame um, and building out the business plan ended up Abundant Dance and Artistry Studios. Um, I was already a part of the dance community um, with Parks and Recreation, Parks and Planning, the churches, um, colleges, and high schools for a long time. So um, I had the connection already there. It was just a matter of actually, and I had my own dance um, company, Dare You to Dance. And then it kind of migrated from that on to opening up my own studio. Oh, wow. So it was three years old. It's still a baby. That's yeah. dope, though. Yeah, y'all yeah, can give it up for I that. I love it. I know they I got that piece. It. They got peace in their hand, but we, yes. yeah, y'all give it up. I love it. So it's, so it's still a baby, but um, Abundant Dance and Archery Studios is an adult um, dance studio. We don't, we we do workshops and stuff for kids, but it's really for adults um, because I feel like you know, as an artist, you should not have to grow out of things that you love to do, and it's kind of therapy too. Mm -hmm. Like an artist should not have to be like, oh, okay, well, I danced from this age to this age and now I have nowhere else to go and still pour my creativity into or you know have an opportunity for that artistic outlet so that's what we do and we have everybody from I guess ages 18 to all the way up to you know 40 maybe is there an age limit? Because you could. Yeah, that's get what I was going to ask. <laughs> I was going to ask you that. Step and finesse it and, and add some stuff. That's just that mean, though. Yeah, it is. So. And we, we serve everything from um, ballet and jazz and hip hop and um, contemporary. Um, we also do beach and beat here heavily in okay. the uh, Gobo community. So um, some of the instructors who work at Abundant uh, are with the beach and beat community. Cool. I love that. So y'all covering everything. And artists. Raheem Devon, um, Maya, some of the 
instructors also work with a lot of the artists that come here. Um, and then some of them also are on tour with some of the artists. I love it. Yeah. That's I pretty dope. That. Yeah. yeah. We got oh. a lot of talent here. Okay. Yes, we do. Uh, yes. We have tons of talent here in the DMV for sure. We do. And I agree with that. And, and thank you for exposing that. it, though. Oh, right? Absolutely. So that's a good thing. That's what we need, more exposure. And the outlet, like you said, the outlet for the older people is great because dances, particularly the younger people, you know, experience the dance thing. And like you say, it's kind of age out type, type situation. So when they get a certain age and then it kind of gets old. Mm-hmm. But dance is like always right good. Age, it's like, okay, now what do I do? Exactly. So you recognize that. Also a producer of shows and so forth and so on, what Terry is interested in. But but yeah, um, and also all the instructors, we call them the Vibe Tribe because it takes a tribe to keep the vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Vibe Tribe, shout out to the Vibe Tribe. Shout, shout out, out to the, to the tribe. vibe Tribe. Um, they, uh, they keep the program going. They keep it uh, out there for the community because we do a lot of community events. And so absolutely love them. I love cool. that. I love that. All right, so let's talk about it. Hump Day Cabaret. Like, what the hump heck? Day. What is that? Like, Hump Day just strikes my interest anyway. But what's you nasty I, too, though? You nasty too. Well, yeah. I mean, so that just strikes your interest, hump Yes, day. if it's a Hump Day, I think we should hump. <laughs> <laughs> Terry. Even if it's a dry so this, hump. Wait, wait. Like I'm I'll Terry, take Terry, a dry hump. Terry, Terry, wait, wait. Just like hump the wait, leg or something. Wait, Terry, Terry. Back bring it back. So let's let's get back to the brand. Focus. Oh, I need okay. you to bring it on. Hump Day Cabaret. Yes. Hump Day Cabaret is actually brand new. Um, the producers are Derek Brown um, and Athena Powell. Um, shout out to Derek Brown. Um, shout out Derek Brown. And Athena Powell. Powell. Yep. For, for producing Hump Day Cabaret. It is a show, a immersive speakeasy burlesque show. Really? Yes. Okay. It is a show that is on Hump Day, which is Wednesday, at the Carlisle in D.C. Okay, so it's not a cabaret of people humping. No. Sorry. But it's a cabaret. You know I'm literal. Hump Day Cabaret. I just had to make sure. It's, I was like, well, what are these people into? Let me it's see. It's not a hump. That's not happening. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay. let me get back to you. <laughs> they not Bring us full at the circle. cabaret. I'm going to okay. still come let to her, the cabaret. Let her, but okay. let her tell us what's okay. going on at the cabaret. It's not humping. Okay. So then let us know what's going on outside of humping at the cabaret. <laughs> if you guys get an opportunity, go follow Hump Day, Cab- Hump Day Cabaret, and you will see we have singing, we have live jazz band, we have wow. the best dancers who all go all the way down to their pasties, but it is very classy. Everyone loves to come to it, um, and then you get to enjoy great dinner and drinks at the Carlisle, um, and then we have a fire act as well, and much more. So I this know. is now what is every Wednesday? It's every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. We are now going to be scaling to um, biweekly or monthly shows. Okay. Um, so our next show is April seventeenth. April seventeenth at the Carlisle. At the I like that. Yeah. And so it's classy but sexy. Yeah. Like even when you tip the ladies, you go and click the QR code and it's real nice. And I like um, that. we had a lot of veterans in the house last night because we just had it um, hey. the show last night. And um, they were there enjoying it. Free, we gave out some free tickets for the veterans. Um, Dope. Yeah. We need to go, babe. Yeah, yeah I, I know you would like that. Yeah, I said next show. I mean, not unless we humping. So, Terry, listen to me. Listen to me right now. They're not humping humping at the call out. So, they don't hump at the call (laughs) out. It's nobody going to be naked or nothing going on. It's none of that. Okay, I still want to go. It's a show, Terry, and it's sexy and it's classy (laughs) and it's fly. (laughs) Leave it at that. Don't try to add your sexual escapades and all this stuff in the parking lot that you're trying to be into. That's not it, okay? Oh, so you're not into it? I didn't say that. Oh, I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, they don't do okay. that at the call outs. Okay, I'm saying. all right. Just stay focused. You, you're not okay, focused. Okay, but I do yeah. like this concept a lot. I like it a lot, and I can't wait for us to come and check that out and support you. Um, so for people who do want to participate in Abundant Dance and Artistry or in Hump Day Cabaret, can you tell, tell everybody about how we get involved? Absolutely. 
So Abundant Dance and Artistry Studios is on IG. Um, you go on the IG and you'll see our schedule, which is weekly. Um, and you are able to register right in there. The, bio, the link is in the bio. Um, as well as Hump Day Cabaret, you can go in there, kind of see some of the footage from some of the shows. Mm -hmm. And you can also go to the Carlisle.com to get your tickets. I love it. Carlisle.com. We're going to go one Wednesday, okay? Hump well, Wednesday, Day Wednesday. Let's go. April 7th, something. We gonna, remind me. April 17th. Okay. We get going. your hump day on at the Carlisle. Get you some great food. Um, we actually been there before. Yeah, we have, but and not so, when it was hump day. Yeah, so, yeah, but the food the same. It's going to be something so, different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hump day is always sexy. Just understand that. So, if it's a hump day cabaret, then get your butt down there. All right? Yes. All right? It's a hump day, it's a hump day situation, <laughs> Sherelle. <laughs> and so, stop it, man. Knock it off. Y'all so nasty, though. Y'all It's terrible. not nasty if you are married nasty. and you want to hump on hump day. It's not. If you're married and you want to hump Terry, on hump day, the then concept. it's not nasty. The concept is not And that. before the cabaret, it's you can hump. Or after. <laughs> Well, babe, you can hump before the cabaret, but when you get there, it's no humping. Like they don't. It's not. I bet we could turn it out if we did. Turn, turn. It's not like quite that. set up for that. Okay, so let let's get her information because you're gonna mess up. Tell them, tell them how we already said how to follow you on Hump Day Cabaret, right? That's on Instagram. Um, Man. anything else? Um, is there a, any type of website? Anything that you want people to point to? Um, for artistry, uh, abundant dance and artistry. You can just go up on the IG. Okay. The IG has all the information on it. Um, register for the classes um if you have young adults who are also interested in doing so we do dance hall afro beats we do it all um, okay yeah. and then if we do not have uh, a specific class then what about hand dancing we don't have hand dancing. that's what okay. i need to learn how to do me too i think that's sexy it me too sexy. yeah it is but we do not have um a, we do have some of our instructors who um do consumba um and that is a couple's dance Okay. And okay. He's an Afro Latin um, instructor there. Uh, his name is Leroy, and he's amazing. So he does do those type of classes. So okay, if Leroy. It, if we don't have it, we get instructors uh. in to do it. Okay, I, I know love Leroy it. good because he reminds me of fame. Remember the Leroy? Leroy the do socks? people still name their babies Leroy? Like if you have a baby now, you gonna All say his I name know Leroy? is Leroy good at what he does. That's right, Leroy. And he gonna have them fame socks on and he gonna kill it. Yes, that's Leroy. what I'm trying to tell y'all. So right. make sure y'all pull up at the car out on Wednesday, which is Hump Day. Hump right? Day. And get your tickets now, April 17th. Get your tickets. Get your ticket. Where can they get the tickets again? Callout.com. All right, y'all give it up for our guest. Athena She's amazing. Power. Athena Power. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. All right, y'all. Y'all right, right. ready? Right. We're going to talk to the owners and founders of Not Your Average Pizza. And then we got the closer. Pam Ward is in the building. The closer. Pam, how long we got you for? You got to leave or you good? Okay. All, All right, right y'all. We'll be right it. back. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city.
Man, oh, welcome oh. back to Spotlight Over the City. That damn yeah. pizza. That, that pe- the pizza is a pizza, though. It's the pizza. That, that's, the, that's what messed me up. I ain't even know how to intro the show. It's the damn pizza. Because I was eating pizza and my lips greasy and I'm feeling away. Everybody that's who all agrees that it's the like, pizza, raise your hand. Hey, it's where, the the, pizza. where my pizza lovers out there? Yeah. Not, your Not your average pizza, pizza, man. I'm trying to tell you. Listen. But anyway, we got our next guest. Not a plus one, but a plus two in the plus building. Two. And um, you already know they have some kind of something to do with that damn pieces that we keep on talking about. I know. So. We're going to find out about it. Man. We're going to find out how this all came about and I'm everything. I'm so happy to have that ass on yes, here. Indeed. I don't even know what to do with myself. So you I'm going to say, man, yeah, I'm going to let you introduce. Let's introduce the founder of Not Your Average Pizza, this young man right here to my left, Mr. Brandon Dow. Y'all want to give it up for Yo, him? Put the hands together. Hey! Put them together. And over here to Stan's right, we have the love, the brains behind. I always say this is she's probably the brains behind everything, right, Brandon? Well, the woman got to be the brains. You, know, you know what I'm saying? The, Damn it, Terry. Just pro- we're going to find out, but well, y'all put see. your hands together for Brandy Walston. Hey! Yes, we and got Nacho Average brand? Pizza in the spotlight. Nacho Average Pizza! <laughs> and it really is not. It really is not. So um, I've been a whole fat boy. Right, I you had ate a, three pieces. You ain't got to put my like business. That. Why you? Why you? Damn, <laughs> you did. I was like, what the hell? So I was gonna say two and lie, but I did. I had three had pieces three of pizza. Big pieces. <laughs> and when I tell you, I crushed all of them. And yeah, I ain't on for no way. Yes, I did. I had it, and I and I wanted and it was another piece, <laughs> but I don't have no more. But it was really good. When I tell you the no pizza lie. was amazing, um, it's really really good, right? And I'm a consist. I'm a texture guy. Like texture's big. And so the texture is amazing. The pieces cook just right. And um, I had the seafood joint. What's the name of it again? 95 somebody crashed. I said 94 some, uh, It was a crash Bellway on 495 crash or Highway. Shit, it's the 495 traffic jam. I was close. Oh, shit. So <laughs> it is. So, so 495. Of, talk, let's talk about Let me tell. I'm going to pass it to y'all. So, so think now. about DC rush hour, right? Right. And, and it's backed up. So. We thought about it from that perspective, and you pair it with the salmon, the crab, the shrimp, and the scallops, and it's just jam packed onto a pizza, just like the Beltway. So that's how we came up Wait, with Wait, back up. What's on that damn pizza? We got salmon, scallops, mm. crab, and shrimp. Mm. See, that's what happened. With it a homemade was... white sauce. Oh, it was so And then good. the crust, it's this crisp. It's this, it's this. so the crust, it's... I be here for crust too, though. That's, I know I'm hood, and y'all can say what you want. But I'm really the crust mm. took it over the top. I'm did y'all lying. get some of it? Y'all agree y'all? with me? How many y'all agree with me? The crust did it. It was the crust. It's a whole lot to that damn piece, ain't it? It was just yeah, so I ain't good, lying, y'all. man. Not to average pizza. So um, I'm proud of you guys. Um, I love what you guys are doing. Yes, indeed. Who I love what y'all are doing. So and um, yeah, oh, shit. So uh, Brandon, um, you founded this, or did you all do this together? Somebody tell us. How this all came about? Because I know you have a journey, you have a story. Oh, yeah. So let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's about take us from the top. Yeah. Um. So back in 20, 2019, 2020, going towards the end of twenty twenty, um, a opportunity came about, but that door closed. And um, my girlfriend, uh, she she was just like, "Won't you just sit down and figure it out yourself? Figure out how to make pizza yourself." And um. I had an idea of, of what type of toppings I wanted to go on a, p- a pizza, non traditional. Because, mm-hmm. you, you know, you can go anywhere to get a traditional piece of pizza. But wait, cheese. not to cut you off, but why did she think that you should be making pizza? Like, why pizza? Why would she suggest um, that to you? Um, it, it was an opportunity that was talked about. Mm-hmm. And okay. um, that opportunity opportunity was wrapped around pizza. Okay. And um, that door closed. And, gotcha. and, you know, she, she, she pushed me. She was just like, uh, why don't you figure it out? And so I sat down. Um, and I really put my time into learning how to make dough and it literally took me three months to get the taste that I wanted Mm -hmm. in in the dough. And then from there, once I identified the taste and I'm a pizza guy, this is my favorite food. Okay. And you know, her being from New York, we, we traveled to New York. So, you know, I, I've had some really, really good pizza. And from that point I was just, just like, um, this is it. And then I'm no kidding. I was in. I, I literally retrofitted my garage, mm-hmm. and I put an oven in there, refrigerator, workbench, and everything. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna put it on Instagram and see if people come buy some pizza. And literally, um, I throw it up there on like a Tuesday. 
maybe like two people came. And then Thursday, maybe like another two. But as the week started to turn, the numbers started to go up. And then lo and behold, I couldn't, I couldn't do it by myself. And so I called B. I was like, hey, look, I need, we both were working remote. I said, hey, I need your help. Won't you come through, check this out, you know, see my idea and work with me. And from there, um, the business just started to blossom. And wow. we grew from the garage, literally the garage of my house onto a food truck and um yeah that's the that's wow. really the story but well, wait, so wait 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 y'all put your hands together for I'm the so so, so i love your journey so what i'm gonna say is all big things start small for sure you in good company bro y'all both like so what i'm saying is google all these big companies started like you yeah from the garage with a big old vision right and yeah. then the vision caught up you know, with the with the dream, everything came together. You guys are gonna be huge, um, just based on what you have, the yeah. product, right? Yeah. You have a you have a product that no one has, and that's all you need to be successful is to have a product no one has. And it's so amazing. I'm not even a big pizza person, is what I'm saying, but I love the pizza, the one I did I taste, and it was amazing. So um just the, the hard work and tenacity that it takes to push that dream. For I sure. respect that, right? A lot. Yeah. So thank you for having it because it allows us to taste it. Yeah. Um, it. The dream that you had, you guys come together and you guys have put something together that now we get the experience. And it's an so, art for yeah. us. It, it really is. Yeah. And, you know, we... So let me talk to you for a minute because I've let him have a lot of the... So when you, you say talk. we have fun doing it... <laughs> so wait, you say we have fun doing it. So you know both of y'all are enjoying this process. Yeah, um, I'm a firm believer in God. Uh, For sure, I love that. As my brother said, you know, the opportunity, you know, what I'm saying it went away. So for me, when one door closes, another one opens. Say it one more yes. time. When yes. one door what? Closes, yes. One opens. That part. And I'm also a firm believer. Yeah, you can make it to the top on your own, but it's so much more satisfying when you can bring somebody just like you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So for us to take our creativity. Gratifying to us. Like we do this, you know, just because, you know, just to just to get the brand out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The product speaks for itself. It really does. It does. And so it spoke to us today. And so that's why <laughs> that's why I, I ate like 18 pieces of pizza. A, this and that. Can I tell them um what I said to you before we came here? You okay with that? Whatever it is, yeah. I so I said, you know, he's like, you know, who's tonight's food sponsor? And I said, not your average pizza. He was like, oh, I don't want no pizza. You know, I'm not, I'm not really a big pizza guy. And I'm like, well, babe, you never know. It might be really good. He's like, ah, okay. I said, well, Royal Farms next door. I'll give me yep, some chicken. Yeah, he <laughs> did. Just in case the food don't be all case. that. I'll give me some chicken or and something. And so. lo and behold, he he bit into that one slice of pizza. And then y'all know he's had I don't he need Royal Farms chicken. Nice. So and what so else? his whole story changed around, hasn't yeah. it, Because so, at first he was like, I ain't that's a pizza. Yeah, and I'm not a big pizza person, to be honest. I mean, everybody right. doesn't. So I'm exactly. not against pizza. I'm just not a big pizza person. But... When I taste something that I like, I know what I like. He know what's and good. And so food. the pizza is amazing. I, like I said, I like everything about it. The texture, yep. um, the taste, the the consistency yeah. of it all. Everything is and, what I like. And funny story, right? If you look on our IG, we we started with traditional circle pizzas. And okay. Remind you, this is twenty in the 2019, 2020. So we were far ahead of the game with a lot of um, other companies you see out now with the jerk chicken pizzas and things like that. So we started that way and then we we moved to the Detroit style um, because we wanted to separate ourselves from the competition gotcha. and create a unique taste. Yes. And so um again, you know, us always we always always brainstorming and thinking about ideas and looking at the uh, Detroit style pizza and like okay, you know, how do you make it and putting that time and resources into learning the craft of making a Detroit style pizza, and then you know it's it, it's it's really a science when you're making a pizza because you're measuring out everything. I mean, now I, I can do it with my eyes closed um, yeah. with yeast and the temperature of the water and mm-hmm. the all that's flour. important. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So and, you can't skip a step. You you can't. Every step makes a difference. No, yeah, that's every, like every, making a pound cake. So that's I want to know this real quick because we run out of time. So I yeah. want to know this real quick. How do you come up with 
Like you had four, I saw like four different situations. Yeah. How do you come up with the, how do you say, I'm going to make this type of pizza? Creativity. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be honest with you. We got a whole lot of flavors out there. I think it's about 12 to 13. Oh, it's a yeah. lot. Yeah. 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 Oh. Even wow. So we got some coming soon. Okay. So your liquor, A1, right? Thank you. So one of our coming flavors, if it's okay with you, would be Allure. It's your name of your liquor, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Allure mango habanero, either chicken or shrimp. Oh. Yeah. Y'all heard it. Yeah, what? I and so that's that. how ideas, look at God, look at God. That's how ideas are inspired. Like we, we we look around, we see you know opportunities, and we I taste. I was like, oh yeah, this is good. And she she's good with creating flavors out of alcohol. Whatever's whatever. good, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. She, she's done it. She's done it. And wow, so, Brandy. So that's that that that's so y'all that's look out list. for that. So y'all look out for that. Make sure y'all give our time uh, information where they can follow your y'all. Average pizza. We run out of time. Where can they follow the not your average pizza? Where can they follow y'all? Oh oh, I thought you say give it up. <laughs> oh yeah, no 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 no. Um, no not no. yet, not yet. So so you can you can you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, NYA Pizza D underscore DMV, or you can follow us. I mean, you can follow us there or email us at. Not your average pizza DMV at gmail.com. Um, that's where you can find us. So if someone's doing a big party and they want to have all this amazing pizza at their party, how we do cater. They, you guys cater? We cater. We cater. Okay. Yeah. Here we got one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what we need to know. So they yes. care as well. They so will if you're having a big birthday party and you want some uh, exotic pizza, because it's kind of fly. And um, it you is. can have, yeah, it's flying a lot. You, you see my boss. It's flying a lot. You see that? <laughs> and so this pizza is really great, and it's black owned, and I love that. And they they really are doing their thing. I love right? it. Right, they're doing their thing. So make sure you support, and make sure you make sure you uh, get the party catered. That that'll be fly. Have your birthday party catered. It would be dope pizza because it's different think flavors. About this. Fun, a lot of flavors. Yeah. Right? Fun fact. A fun fact. Fun fact. We are the we were the first first. Black owned pizza food truck that did D- Detroit style in this area. In the whole yes, area. Yes, that's true. Y'all give it up for that alone. Give so, it y'all up. give it up for not your average pizza. pizza. You, get you, you get a slice, slice of pizza. You get a slice. You get a slice. But save me a slice, please. Y'all ready for the closing? <coughs> Before uh, we do that, though, I want to say a special shout out to Cook's Bakery. Where's she at? Every week, almost. Yes, she brings some something. Every week, almost every week, she rolls up in here with some some sort of dessert, something just to give us to you all. Yes. So I just wanted you all to recognize Cooks Bakery, and they're on Instagram, Cooks C O O K S underscore right Bakery. But our bartender um, in the building, though. Cheers. The number two Y O U is our bartender Y O U underscore. Cheers. The number two Y O U underscore. Did she get it right? Make sure y'all treat our bartender like she's our bartender upper is the best of the best. the best of the best. Please okay? make sure you give her a tip or two. Support her. She got the best alcohol These over there. Make sure you get that over she there. Been making me all night. Now, I don't know me. what this is, but spotlight, spotlit. Yeah, she got you only don't give her no more. She get one a show, one a show. No, and y'all had a good time. We had a great time. Y'all ready for great the closer? Time. Y'all ready for Miss co- Pam Ward is in the building. She's a songstress, a singer. Up next in she's the amazing. She has the biggest voice ever, and she's going to loan it to y'all tonight. So, y'all get ready for our close of Pam Ward coming up right after this commercial break. Spotlight over the city. Y'all give it up, give it up, give it up. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, thank you so much, Dan and Terry Long. We are so ready for this vibe. Go ahead, Charles. He said because the president wanted people to remain calm. Well, let's so get back. No, but Susan, I, this is well, important. Susan, I, and I, I, I want to add, if Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. Y'all had a good time? Man, we had a great show. My audience lit, though. Y'all the litest, too, though. I just want y'all to know that. I thank God for y'all, man. I thank God for everybody that's sounding my voice. Make sure you follow us on every uh, streaming platform. Spotlight Over the City, everything, man. YouTube, uh, IG, for the old heads like myself. We on Facebook. Uh, we just everywhere. We we killing on TikTok, too, though. Hey, wait, we killing, ain't we, wifey? We doing numbers over there. We doing numbers on YouTube. Shout out to all of our YouTube subscribers. If you just subscribed for the first time, sorry about the technical difficulties, but we love you. We appreciate you rocking with Spotlight over the city, man. We got mad love for y'all. Guess what? I got a message, though, real quick. Never be too cool or too fly to pray. God is the source. He'll make you the plug. You hear me? Say that. Yeah, I ain't never lied to you. Love hard, live good. God first. Spotlight over the city. And so without further ado, I'm going to get out of the way. I just wish I could sing like you a little bit. Like, if, if I could sing, sing, <laughs> I would do benefit concerts. All I'd be singing free than a mug. I'm, like, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to take you with me. <laughs> you going to take me with you? I'm going to mess your brain straight up. <laughs> you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. And so I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all ready for a real singer? Yeah. A real closer? All right, so I'm going to need y'all to get ready real quick, though. Put y'all hands together right now. Get warmed up. Get excited <laughs> for the one and only, the songstress, the singer herself, Miss Pam Ward in the Thank building. You. Thank y'all. I appreciate you, Sanitary. Thank you for inviting me back. It's been a long time, but I'm glad I'm here. All right, y'all. Right, come on, sing. Who's that? I'm going to put a mic in your hand. <laughs> Baby, when I found you, you're so strong, 
stronger but tender to your mind Your mind, oh, angel. Love like ours is heaven sent each day, a day to remember. I feel so safe. I feel secure with you and you give me love and keep right on giving fill me up baby with the joy of living when things get tough I can always tell Cause you're my angel Oh angel You're my angel Catch me on IG, officially Pam Ward. Also catch me May 10th through 12th in DC Black Broadway's Chocolate City Records. Right, Sherelle? <laughs> Thank y'all so much, Stan and Terry. Spotlight on this city. I love y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs>